An event is a record inserted into the event table, where event rules and field mappings are applied to generate an alert. As events occur on various systems, the mid-server connector instance sends the events to the service now instance. Event management generates alerts, applies alert management rules, and prioritizes alerts for remediation and root cause analysis. Let's do a deep dive on how events are being processed. When an event record is created in the event table, the system checks for an existing event rule. The first thing that the system checks is the source of the event. If the source of the event matches the source in an existing rule, then a rule is matched. A rule is matched, even if the additional filters match. An event rule needs to have filter conditions specified. Rules without filter conditions will be ignored. You can also ignore events matching a specific criterion by selecting the Ignore Events checkbox within an event rule. If Transform and Compose tabs are defined, the event information will be parsed and transformed to the desired output. If thresholds are enabled, events are accumulated until a threshold is met. This is similar to polling within a monitoring tool based on the defined threshold against a metric. If no event rules match, default binding occurs using the node information to find a matching configuration item using host name, IP, or MAC address, and the processing further continues. Field mapping and severity validation occurs post that. It is always recommended that you bind the alert to a specific CI for root cause analysis. Note, if there is no severity defined at this point, the state of the event is set to error and alert generation does not occur. As a final step before an alert generation, the system searches for any matching message key. If a matching message key exists, it updates the existing alert and the event will be associated to the alert. A new alert is created if there is no matching message key. 